Hi everyone. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Riley. Welcome to my garden. Today we're talking about five ways you can store compost. The easiest place to store your compost is directly in the bin that you composted it in. Just make sure that you've got a lid on it or you cover it with a tarp to keep excessive rain or moisture out of that compost. You don't want that compost to start rotting because of excessive moisture, it smells, it becomes unusable, and it really is just disappointing after putting that much work into making the compost in the first place. If it's not possible for you to keep your compost in the bin you compost it in, like it's not possible for me because I'm ready to turn this side of my bin into this side of my bin, start a new compost pile over here, but I can't do that because I've still got finished compost in this side of my bin. So I've got to get this out and I've got to store it somewhere away from my bin. And the question is, where can we do that? Well, the easiest place to do it is right on the ground, cover it with a tarp, put rocks or paver stones around the perimeter of that tarp to keep excessive moisture out and make sure that the wind doesn't blow that tarp away and it will store fine, just like that on the ground. Another really easy and cheap way to store your compost is just to get some large heavy duty dark green or black garbage bags, fill those with compost, loosely roll the top so that you're gonna keep moisture out, but you're gonna allow some airflow into those bags. Store that in a shady spot and it will store great in garbage bags. The fourth way to store compost on my list is my favorite because I like to be able to store my compost in a container that's mobile, that I can easily move around my garden, use it where I need to use it, then put it back in storage when I'm not using it. My favorite is a plastic tote just like this that costs around $10 at any big box store. Now, there's only two key things you have to make sure you have if you're using a tote like this. One of them is a lid to keep excessive moisture out where you're storing it. And number two, I always like to drill holes at the top of the container around the perimeter. I drill half inch holes, three or four on each side to be able to get some airflow into the container without letting excessive moisture in when I've got that lid on the top. Now any plastic tote container is going to work fine. Any container like this, even a cheap garbage can, as long as it has a lid, you're able to drill holes into the side of it that's going to work perfectly for storing your compost. Finally, the last item on my list, a large garbage container like this that's got a lid built into it that has wheels built into it so you can easily move this thing around. These are available at your big box stores like Lowe's or Home Depot for around $85, but they'll hold a lot of compost You've got this lid built right into it. You'll ensure no excessive moisture gets into that container. And all you need to do, drill some holes in the top to allow some airflow. A great place to store a lot of compost if you have the means for a container this size. My name is Riley. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it. That really helps the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and ring that bell so you'll be notified next week when we put out a new video.